and welcome. Today we are fixing Intel Centrino wireless N2235 GHz connectivity issue. With our research we found that Intel Centrino N2230 adopter cannot detect 5 GHz wireless LANs. The problem with Intel Centrino is being a single band device while nowadays the wireless routers they provide dual band devices. To fix this issue and to provide information how we got all this information we first open our web browser let's see if we got Firefox here or Chrome okay it's a fresh install so let's go to Edge we'll go to this address which is given in the video description okay so it's a discontinued status and uh, it is it has supported operating system almost with the latest one now if we read more about this uh, product we see that it supports 2.4 gigahertz operating frequency which is why we are ha we normally user have issues connecting this um, this device with the uh, routers having 5 gigahertz frequency so in first case uh, end user knows which wireless card is running but if you do not know which wireless card you are using and uh, how you find out you can do it using different ways and we'll show you how to do it through device manager which is available in all windows operating system so we press windows and R key and we type dev mgmt.msc once we are in device manager we will expand network adopters and from here you will see the network devices that you have installed in your computer in our example we are using uh, Intel gigabit network connection and our base computer we got Qualcomm Athros um, QCA 9565 uh, Wi-Fi adopter so how will we know that uh, our device supports 5 gigahertz uh, operating frequency we can open a browser and go to vendors um, uh, website let's see if we can get to Qualcomm so we either search for the uh, vendor uh, for which we have the device installed in our laptop or computer and once we go to vendor website let's say it is Intel and you have a uh, Centrino wireless N2230 device you'll go to you'll search for the device uh, that you have installed in your computer and then you will read about the information the bands the device operates on so once that is done um, we'll uh, will need to know that our um, router is dual band or single band so the next thing is that we will visit the website for the vendor uh, of our uh, wireless router let's say we are using AC 2300 TP-Link router so here's the vendor website we go here here we are now we need to read about this network uh, this wireless uh, router let's read about this and let's try to find out the specification of this wireless router let's go to specification and uh, Here you see the frequency is 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz. 
dual band this router being dual band and the f um, features that it offers is ideal for our home or office use so we are going to go if you are using a notebook which supports only single band and you have a router like this which is working as a dual band we, c we, we can recommend you to purchase a USB wireless adapter and uh, we can show you how you can uh, find adapter um, which is dual band and it, it is USB so that you can uh, use it in your laptop or computer so first of all we are choosing TP-Link as a vendor we go to TP-Link's website let's choose home tab and in home we say adopters let's filter it with the technology and we need AC as an interface and interface should be USB so we got frequency as 802.11 the technology as 802.11 AC interface as USB and we go down now here we have this USB um, adapter available purchase anyone that you like with this technology and interface install it and then you will be able to use it with 5 gigahertz frequency i hope this video will be helpful for you thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe our channel